Hello everybody, as you can see, behind me is a whole lot of books. In front of me, to the left of me, and in places that you can't see, there is a library of books. And from time to time, people ask me to see my library of books. And so in this video, I'm going to be showing you the books in my library, most of them, and all recommendations. I mean, if you're interested in church history, apologetics, spirituality, you name it, you're going to find it in this library. So if you watch this video, you're going to get some very good book recommendations. Some of my favorites, many of the ones I've read, many of the ones I haven't read, but this is my library. This is my section on the Bible, where we got the Bible, how to interpret the Bible, Bible exegesis, and understanding all sorts of books on the Bible. And here on the right, you'll see a lot of different books on Mary, understanding the Catholic teaching on Mary. And on this shelf is all love and relationships, marriage, uh, how to navigate marriage and relationships, what they're about, how to succeed in them, self-help books, recommendations, uh, different books. You'll see Wild at Heart there, which is a book that I like. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus, an old school one. But there are many better books than that. And Love and Responsibility right there is one of my all-time favorites. Right next to it, If You Really Love Me by Jason Everett. All sorts of books on love and relationships. And on this shelf are many uh, Bible encyclopedias, dictionaries, encyclopedias of church history, uh, just big books of church history, biblical theology understanding. Uh, you'll see the Encyclopedia of the Saints there, Encyclopedia of Catholic Doctrine, the documents of Vatican II, and many more. Uh, and there are many more books that we couldn't even fit on this shelf that are in other areas. But these are a lot of the practical commentaries and books that you would use to understand the Bible and Scripture. This is a random assortment of books um, in no particular order, no theme. But uh, you'll see a lot of good books there. The Trinity by St. Augustine, uh, The Doctors of the Church. Goodbye, Good Men, How the Catholic Priesthood Was Hijacked by Liberals and People Who Wanted to Destroy It. And you'll see on the right side there some books by Cardinal Ratzinger, Catholicism and Faith, Stories About Purgatory. There are a lot of books on this shelf. Here is my first shelf on New Age books and heresy and books that are against the Catholic Church. You'll see a ton of books on yoga because I wanted to understand yoga. You'll see the Bible of the New Age movement, the conspir Aquarian Conspiracy, uh, books by Deepak Chopra, A Course in Miracles, uh, books by Eckhart Tolle, Conversations with God by Neil Donald Walsh. These are all New Age classics. You'll find them all on the bestseller lists um, that have been there for a really long time. The Naked Now by Father Richard Rohr, The Secret, which is another popular one, and many, many more books that are against the Catholic faith and Christianity in general. In the middle of these two shelves, I have more, many more New Age books, books that are against Catholicism, books that go against uh, true, authentic, genuine spirituality. And you can see them in there between the two bookshelves. Uh, starting at the bottom, you'll see books by Deepak Chopra in there. Uh, Matthew Fox, who was a terrible New Age priest. He wrote The Cosmic Christ. You'll see The Poem of the Man God, a whole series of books that are filled with errors and mistakes and are not approved by the church. You'll see Albert Coutier, the priest who left the Catholic Church to get married, The Spirit of Reiki, and lots of books on Reiki, including the original handbook on Reiki, the books on the Enneagram, books on centering prayer, ooh, the Shacking Up handbook, and the Hookup handbook for all of you women out there who want to be used by a man in a couple straight weeks. You can see books by Deepak Chopra and other books trying to say that Jesus was some guru in India. This is one of my favorite shelves. It is the Existence of God shelf, Proof of God, science, and religion. You will see atheist and Catholic books there. You will see three famous atheists, Daniel Dennett, Richard Dawkins, and Christopher Hitchens on this side. And then some of my favorite uh, theist books, The Last Superstition, Five Proofs for the Existence of God, New Proofs for the Existence of God. There's books on the language of God uh, by Francis Collins, the famous scientist, Sam Harris, another atheist, Bertrand Russell, another atheist. And of course, on the right, you'll see Answering Atheism and Why Do You Believe in God, which is my book, Answering Atheism. On this shelf, you will see another assortment of different books. They're just miscellaneous books, The Case for Christ, 
Uh, you'll see Coming Clean, which is one of my favorite books. You'll see books on The Incorruptibles, Eucharistic Miracles. Salvation is from the Jews is an amazing book. The, one of the best pro-life books ever written, Persuasive Pro-Life. And other books on the right side on exorcism and written by exorcists and interesting things like that. This is my spirituality shelf. And you will find many of my favorite books. Uh, Introduction to the Devout Life, A Fire Within. Uh, the Lamb's Supper, all great books. You will also see other classics uh, like I Believe in Love. You'll see uh, Prayer Primer there on the right for people beginning in prayer. Imitation of Christ, a classic. And other books as well. There's uh, all sorts of different spiritual books here for people who are just starting out to people who are more advanced in the spiritual life. And then, of course, you have uh, a lot of saint books on this shelf, too, and many more on the shelf to come. You have more saint books on this shelf as well and the next shelf. But this bookshelf is primarily a self-help bookshelf. Uh, it's business books. It's motivational books, marketing, branding. Uh, you'll see some classics there, How to Win Friends and Influence People, which every person should read, and Jesus CEO. So Christians who have businesses can check out that book. And then this is another miscellaneous shelf of all saints, mostly saint books, trying to make a whole collection of saints of all different kinds. You'll see Thomas More, Mother Teresa, John Bosco, Edmund Campion, uh, Cardinal Newman, Kateri, and many, many more. On the right there, you'll see a history of popes, saints, and sinners, the Curie of Ars, Thomas Aquinas, and there are many as well in other shelves. These are my binders filled with all the councils of the Catholic Church, the early church fathers, writings of different religions, different apologetics, different apologetics tactics, techniques, everything you can imagine. There's thousands of pages in all of those. And here we have uh, one of my favorite books, Mother Angelica. And again, just an assortment of books. Why I Don't Call Myself Gay by Daniel Madsen is a great book. The Porn Myth by Matt Fradd, exposing the reality behind the fantasy of pornography. A great book if you're trying to break that habit. And then, of course, we have The Pope, The Council, and The Mass, which refutes traditional uh, extreme Catholicism, who says that the Mass is not true. Uh, the Novus Ordo Mass is invalid, Vatican II, and that is all false. These are books on popes, papal encyclopedias, many books on Vatican II, the Oxford Dictionary of Popes, Hard Sayings of the Bible, and many other great books that are just on almost any topic that you can imagine. Early Christian Doctrines is a great book on all the earliest Christians written by a Protestant. On this shelf, these are just some of the more popular books. You can see more documents of Vatican II, True Devotion to Mary, The Secret of the Rosary, Miracles Happen, The Sinner's Guide. I mean, these are classics. Of course, the Catechism, uh, the Diary of Faustina, Pope Benedict's books. And then, of course, we have Chesterton's Collected Works and Works of St. Teresa of Avila after that. And one of the best apologetics books, Theology for Beginners by Frank Sheed. This is yet another book on anti-Catholicism. It's books by different religions, books that condemn the Catholic Church, hate the Catholic Church, spread lies and propaganda about the Catholic Church. You'll see Chick Publications, Sword of the Lord. Uh, you'll see Seventh-day Adventist books there. You'll see all sorts of tracts, all sorts of little pamphlets, booklets. I mean, just hundreds of them that I've read and outlined and critiqued over the years and will be giving answers to in many upcoming videos as well. In this shelf, you'll see many more books written by Mormons. You'll see the two or three copies of the Book of Mormon there, Jehovah's Witness, Jehovah's Witness Bibles, uh, more anti-Catholic DVDs, books on Islam, Scientology, the book, uh, the Church of Christian Science, the huge book in the back by the Seventh-day Adventists, uh, liberals uh, like Bart Ehrman, and many, many other books. On the right there, you'll see the Many, many Chick tracks, all very anti-Catholic. Jack Chick was wrong about everything he said about the Catholic Church, and yet some people are duped by his stuff. And so if you need to know arguments from the other side, that you can find them all on these shelves. This is our shelf on other religions. Uh, you'll see all sorts of new religions, New Age, Mormonism, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, Islam, world religions. You'll see there right in the middle the 
original biography of Muhammad written by a Muslim, uh, the Quran, Unholy Quran, uh, one of the historical books on Luther. You'll see other books on jihad, uh, the Green Sisters in New Age, and how the religion of Islam has historically not been a religion of peace, and many other books as well. And finally, one of my favorite bookshelves, Apologetics, defending the Catholic faith, explaining the Catholic faith. You will see all sorts of books on this shelf, defending the Bible and defending the Catholic Church, defending the Catholic Church using the Bible and history. The earliest Christians, you'll see the Handbook of Catholic Apologetics up there, uh, defending the papacy and almost every belief that the Catholic Church has. You'll see books that have multiple converts who all converted to the Catholic Church, really high-ranking Protestants, Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses who all came into the Catholic Church. Catholicism and Fundamentalism, one of my favorite books out there. Born Again Fundamentalist, Born Again Catholic, Steve Ray's book, Crossing the Tiber, Jimmy Aiken's book, The Fathers Know Best on the Early Church Fathers, and other books as well on almost every facet of Catholicism. And one of my other favorite shelves that I have is Church History. On the left, you will see the Spanish Inquisition and the real truth of what happened. And since they found the documents, they know what happened during the Inquisition, and we don't have to guess anymore. How the Catholic Church Built Western Civilization, fantastic book. The Decline and Fall of the Catholic Church in America, three volumes of the early Church Fathers, the Crusades, multiple books on the Crusades. We have six volumes on War and Carols, the history of Christendom. You have the facts about Luther and what really happened during the Protestant Reformation. Um, regular history books, just giving 2,000 years of church history, more books on the Reformation, the Crusades, the Middle Ages, the Dark Ages, and almost every facet of church history that you can imagine, and they're all amazing. This book is uh, Concordances, uh, Commentaries on How to Understand the Bible. This is the entire Navarre Bible commentary set, which is one of my favorites. And some dictionaries, the Summa by Thomas Aquinas, a classic, of course. And finally, we have some shelves with random assortments of books on all different topics that you can imagine, including where we got the Bible and conversions of people from other religions to the Catholic Church. On this shelf, you have many more assorted books, uh, History of the Protestant Reformation in England, you have Natural Law, Everlasting Man, more stories of exorcists, and other books as well. No particular order. These are all miscellaneous sh overflow shelves that I didn't really have room for. Classic, Lord of the Rings, Pulp Fiction, one of my favorite books. And of course, on this bottom shelf is more heresy and anti-Catholicism. This one came out a little blurry. I apologize, but you'll see Roman Catholicism and the two Babylons, two of the biggest anti-Catholic books ever written, The Historical Mary, which is garbage, Catholicism by Richard McBrien, 50 Years in the Church of Rome by an ex-priest. So people can't say that I don't read non-Catholic books or I'm brainwashed by the Pope because unlike most people, I have read both sides and I have a plethora of anti-Catholic books and anti-Catholic literature. And there are many, many, many more books that I just couldn't show you just because we don't have room for them. But these are some of the many books that we have. I hope that you got some good book suggestions from them. Maybe it'll inspire you to start collecting great books on your own and even maybe to start reading books each week because once you start learning your faith, you know it. And once you start knowing it, it becomes really interesting. It becomes inspiring and it just becomes something that you want to do more and more and more, really. I mean, you just can't get enough of it. And use this knowledge for good. Make sure to know Christ on a deeper level and make sure to know your faith in a real way. If you have any questions about this library, about books, about uh, just any kind of questions about our faith, other religions, God, or anything in general, please feel free to ask us. That's why we are here at Catholic Truth. We are here to serve you, to inspire Catholics, to cultivate your faith, and help you know it and live it with purpose and passion. Please like this video. Please share it with others. And if you haven't been here before, or if you like this video, please subscribe to it. And please subscribe to our channel. Hit that little button next to it, that bell icon, so that you will get videos when they come out.
And there are many, many, many more books that I just couldn't show you just because we don't have room for them. But these are some of the many books that we have. I hope that you got some good book suggestions from them. Maybe it'll inspire you to start collecting great books on your own and even maybe to start reading books each week because once you start learning your faith, you know it. And once you start knowing it, it becomes really interesting. It becomes inspiring and it just becomes something that you want to do more and more and more, really. I mean, you just can't get enough of it. So learn your faith, love your faith, fall in love with Christ, and use this knowledge to help you know your faith, to know God, to know others. Delete that. And to use... And use this knowledge for good. Make sure to know Christ on a deeper level and make sure to know your faith in a real way. If you have any questions about this library, about books, about uh, just any kind of questions about our faith, other religions, God, or anything in general, please feel free to ask us. That's why we are here at Catholic Truth. We are here to serve you, to inspire Catholics, to cultivate your faith, and help you know it and live it with purpose and passion. God bless you. Please like this video. Please share it with others. And if you haven't been here before, or if you like this video, please subscribe to it. And please subscribe to our channel. Hit that little button next to it, that bell icon, so that you will get videos when they come out.